What's up Gunpla Modelers? How is everyone doing? This is a new video of Tool Time with Strider Prime. In which case I, you know, in this video I show off new items for me building my Gundam kits. And today I'm going to be reviewing a new series of paints that I've gotten my hands on. These are the Moto paints that I've had for, um, I've been eyeing on, on for a long time. And I got this from a site called robotkai.com, which was uh, recommended by a few people. And uh, I got my hands on these paints, and I want to show it to you, see uh, how good these are. First off, I want to give out a shout out to a subscriber by the name of Plamo Build Report. I know he goes under a different name, and forgive me if I don't say your name properly. But he has a, a, a YouTube channel uh, on, on YouTube, uh, Plamo Build Report. I'm going to put his link on, my, uh, on this video. He has a Twitch channel. He has an Instagram. And I believe he's on Twitter as E-A-S-P-U-D-Z. Hopefully I'm pronouncing it. E-A-S-P-U-D-Z. There. So, yeah. Um, a few, about a few months ago, about a month, maybe over a month ago, I did a Twitch stream. I was building a, a few things here and there, and we were. I, I guess I, in my conversation, my, me talking, uh, I talked about the Moto paints, and um, I still remember how well the the Moto paint of the uh, rose gold that I used on my Perfect Grade Exia, turning it into the Trans Am Exia, came out amazing. And uh, I was oh, I, I kind of actually commented on the fact that maybe I'm, I, I wish I had another bottle to make another kit because I, I do definitely think I'm doing another trans ham build or paint job. But in that conversation, he was actually watching my stream and he mentioned that go to Robot Kai. They have the paints over there, and he did a review as well of his of the paints. Um, I would probably recommend going to his channel and checking it out. He posted it about a few months ago. Uh, I'm sorry if I can't tell you what the, when when it was. I'm actually looking at his channel right now. Let me double check. Uh, he posted it uh, yes about a month ago. So just go to his channel, check it out. He did he did an excellent review, and I want to do my review as well. I I reached out to Robot Kai. Robot Kai says, "Oh sure, I ordered these paints that you see here." Um, so let me show you what I got. First, I'm going to open up what's in the box. So we got here M001 Pure White. And these are, by the way, 20 milliliters. They're around the same bottle size that I got the Rose Gold before. So that's zero one. Zero two is pure black. I don't know if this is a gloss black or a flat black, but I think this is gloss. Because I know that the first four is gloss. Zero zero three is pure red. Zero zero four is royal blue. boxes we have 005 pure yellow 006 flat base obviously this is a to give it a flat coat a top coat you could say and then we have M011 this is flat white so this so we have the gloss white and we have the flat white and then we have pro mix cobalt blue. This is a darker or different type of shade of blue as you can see there. Check that out. Looks really nice. And then the last bottle that you see here all the way to the left is MX-20 gunmetal. You definitely need to have gunmetal for inner frame. I also picked up MX-11 surfacer gray 50 milliliters. And to top it all off, I got Moto's 
color series thinner for brushes D012S 250 milliliters but this is a thinner that will work with this so I got all these paints that you see here and I'm going to try this on my next build so we could see how well uh, these look at the same time um, Robakai actually sent me these little um, carbon fiber chips um, I have four of these Let's see, I got one I got two the other two I don't know where I put but basically they're meant to be like sanding sticks so they're nice and strong and then you could paint you can paste them on the back end there are, there are these little um, markings here that you see to, to mark off the paint the mark off the I'm sorry the, the sanding stick so you can make you know one a higher grit and then like this one the medium grit so that's cool because that, that's good for me to, like sand parts and I'll definitely need something to, to, to control using the sanding sticks here but yeah I got this from them and I'm going to work on this on the next kit which I have nearby uh, oh, there it is. Whoops. I'm going to be building the 144 scale high grade RX7802 Gundam The Origin, the EFF prototype mobile suit. Since I have, I decided to get the primary colors to try them out on this guy and see how it looks, and see how well this paint works on this. So, this is a short review of me uh, showing off these paints, and the next video will be me beginning to work on these kits, and we'll discuss and test out these paints and see how they look, and uh, flesh them out. So, thank you, Robot Kai, for sending me this. Thank you, um, Plamo Build Report, <laughs> for uh, suggesting this. And uh, let's uh, review these new paints in my next video when I begin building the Origin Gundam. With that being said, I'd like to thank you guys all for watching, and stay tuned for more Tool Time with Strider Prime coming soon.